Hello students, we have an interesting question from JMN 2018. Question says that we have capacitance 1 mu of is charged up to 60 volt. So we have potential of 60 volt. Capacitance C1 is given as 1 mu of. C2 is given as 3 mu of. C3 is given as 6 mu of. And our circuit is, let's redraw the circuit here. We have to find sum of final charge on C2 and C3 when switch is disconnected from point 1 and connected to point 2. Now our circuit is 60 volt. Let's redraw here. After that we can go for solution C2, C3, C1. So let's see how to solve this. We can use the concept of common potential. So at case one, switch is at point one. So our capacitance C1 is charged to a charge C1 into V, where C1 is one microfarad and voltage is 60 volt. So it will be 60 micro coulomb. Now we are connecting switch to point 2. We have to find out the common potential for this circuit, second circuit. We know that total charge is 60 micro coulomb, which will be total capacitance into common potential, say common potential as V and total capacitance is C1 is in parallel with combination of C2 and C3. So C1 plus combination of C2 and C3. C2 and C3 in series will give C3, C2 by C3 plus C2. We know C1 is 1 plus C3, C2 by C2 plus C3 is 6 into 3, 18. 18 by 6 plus 3, 9 is 2. So common potential V equal to 60 by 3, this is micro farad. So 60 by 3 is 20 volt. This is the common potential. We have to find the total sum of charge on C2 and C3 which will be equal to C2, C3 by C2 plus C3 into V. So that is C2, C3 by C2 plus C3 into V, which is equal to C2, C3 by C2 plus C3 is 2 into V is 20, which is equal to Q on 2 and 3 is 40 micro. So net charge on capacitance 2 and 3 is 40 micro coulomb. So let's check the answer. 40 micro coulomb is first option. So right answer is A. To know more about this concept that is common potential you can go through the videos here and you can go through the books electricity and magnetism page number 238 line number 2 by dc pandey thank you students